Hello everyone, this is Prayana. Welcome back to Knowledge of Maths. In today's video, we are going to learn about brackets and we are going to solve the sums related to brackets. Uh, from the textbook of CBSC Board NCRT Mathematics of Grade 6. Before solving the sums, just understand what is the bracket. Brackets are symbols such as parentheses that are most often used to create groups or clarify the order that operations are to be done in an algebraic expression. Means the here the duty of brackets is they have to separate the groups. They make the group and they uh, separate the uh, expressions. Okay. So let's understand the types of brackets. Here are the types of brackets. This is the round brackets or parenthesis. This one is square brackets or box brackets. This one is braces or curly brackets. And this one is angle brackets. Okay. Now let's start solving the sums. On page number 24 you have the question as write the expressions for each of the following using brackets. Now here the first expression is 4 multiplied by the sum of 9 and 2. Here sum of 9 and 2 is the separate expression. So first we will write 9 plus 2. As it is a separate expression we will enclose it in the bracket. Now let's understand the remaining part of the expression. Here the remaining part is 4 multiplied by this. Okay. So we have to multiply by 4. So, the final answer of this question is 4 is multiplied with the bracket enclosed which is 9 plus 2. Okay. So, the next expression here it is divide the difference of 18 and 6 and by 4. Here the separate expression is difference of 18 and 6. So, first we will write 18 minus 6 as it is a separate expression we will put it in the bracket. And then we have to focus on the remaining part of expression that is divide by 4. So let's divide this bracket by 4. So the final answer of this question is this one. Now let's move to the next expression. Here it is the third expression. 45 divided by 3 times the sum of 3 and 2. Now here there are 3 parts. Okay. The first part is sum of 3 and 2. So first write 3 plus 2. As this is the separate expression, we will put it in the bracket. Now, if there is the second part as 3 times the sum of 3 and 2. So, 3 times means we have to multiply this bracket with the 3. Okay. And now, this is the separate by the remaining part. So, we will put this in the next bracket. One more bracket that is square bracket. Now, the remaining part is 45 divided by this bracket. So, Let's divide this bracket by 45. Okay. So, the final answer of this expression is. First, there is a square bracket. In that, there is one more bracket, small bracket. And then, this whole bracket is divided by 45. Okay. So, let's move to the next question. Here, this is the next question. Write three different situations for 5 plus 8. Which is multiplied by 6. Okay. Till now, they had given us the expression, uh, situation and they have told us to write it in mathematical expression. But now they have given us the mathematical expression and we have to write the situation which will match with this expression. Okay. So, they have given the one situation that is Sohani and Rita work for 6 days. Okay. Here we have to multiply with 6 now. So, for that they have given 6 days. Sohani works 5 hours each day and Rita works 8 hours each day. How many hours do both of them work in a week? So, first we will add the works uh, hours and then we will multiply with the 6. So, this situation is matchable with this expression. Now, let's write the hour situation. That is, Rohit and Meena went out for vacations for 6 days. This Rohit and Meena went out for vacations for 6 days. As there is a 6 multiplied with the, this bracket. So, we are taking here 6 days. Rohit collected 5 shells each day and Meena collected 8 shells each day. So, the 8 plus 5 will become and it is for how many days? For 6 days. So, 5 plus 8 into 8. 
So this situation is also matchable with this expression. Now let's move to the next situation. Here this is the second situation. Prachiti and Parikshit went to zoo for six days. Now here again these two children went out for zoo for six days. Prachiti researched about five different species each day and Parikshit researched about eight different species each day. How many species do both of them researched in six days? Here also same situation is there. So 5 plus 8 into 6 will be matchable to the situation. Now the third one is a girl was observing her two pet dogs for six days. Now till now we had spoken about the children. Now here we are going to speak about the dogs. They, these are two dogs which are... Um, which are observed by this girl. The first dog ate about 5 bones each day and second dog ate about 8 bones each day. How many bones do both of them ate in 6 days? Now here we will add up this uh, number of bones and then we will multiply with the 6. So we will get the answer and this situation is also matchable with that given expression. Now let's move to the next question. Here the next question. Write five situations. Now they have told us to write five situations for the following where brackets would be necessary. Okay. Here the first expression is 7 into bracket 8 minus 3. Let's write first situation for this uh, expression. Seven girls went to a market with rupees 8. Seven girls are there and they have each of them have 8 rupees. And all of them bought chocolates each for rupees 3. All of them have spent 3, 3 rupees. Okay, so uh, we have to subtract the money uh, 3 from 8. Okay, uh, what money left with them? As there are 7 girls, so we have to multiply this expression with the 7. Now see here, the in between the 7 and bracket, there is no sign. So we have to assume that there is a multiplication sign. Okay. Now let's see the second situation. Here this is the second situation. A gardener charges rupees 8 per day to water a plant but gives back rupees 3 to the owner for saving. Means he is giving back rupees 3 so we have to subtract 3 from 8. For what amount will he get after 7 days? So we have to multiply this given expression with the 7. Okay. Now this also is matching with this given expression. Now let's write the third situation. This is the third situation. A lady was working for 8 hours a day. But due to certain reasons she had to go home 3 hours early. She is going home 3 hours early. So we have to subtract 3 from 8. For 7 days she is doing the same thing. So we have to multiply this expression with the 7. What number of hours she could work for these 7 days? We will get the answer after the solving this expression. Now let's move to the next situation. Here this is the next situation. There are 7 buckets containing 8 liters of water each. Okay. If 3 liters of water is taken out from each of the bucket. We have to subtract 3 from 8. Because 3 liters of water is taken out. How much liters of water is left in all the buckets together? So we have to multiply with the 7 now. So for that we have to enclose this 8 minus 3 in a bracket. Now let's see the fifth situation. The fifth situation is from 7 continents if we highlight 8 countries from each of them and after that if we cancel 3 countries from highlighted countries. Now we are First we highlighted 8 countries but now we are cancelling the highlighted 3 countries. So we have to subtract 3 from 8. Then how many highlighted countries were left? As there are 7 continents so we have to multiply 8 minus 3 with 7. So we will enclose this with the bracket. So these are the 5 situations which will match with this expression. Now let's write the situation for the Second expression that is 7 plus 2 into 10 minus 3. The first situation is Prachiti's grandfather promised her that he will give her 10 chocolates daily for a week. Means for 7 days. If she gets 90% marks in exam but she got 95% so she got chocolates 
for extra two days means here days are increasing by two so we have to add plus two to the seven she gave three chocolates to her brother daily but she is giving three chocolates means her chocolates are going to be reduced so we have to do minus three hmm. how many chocolates she got after giving her brother as these both expressions are different and we have to find the answer together so we have to put the brackets for both of them as there is no sign in between these two brackets there is a multiplication sign we have to assume it okay so uh, this situation is matchable with this expression now let's find the second situation here this is the second situation the team of seven girls and two boys were working in office for 10 hours daily as there are two types of persons as this is the team of boys and girls so we have to add and they are working for 10 hours on festival the team work 3 hours less so we have to subtract 3 from this 10 and we have to find out how many hours did the team worked on that day and to find the answer we have to multiply the answers of this question so we have to put them in a brackets okay now let's find the next situation here this is the third situation a boy was hired for seven days a month he was supposed to work 10 hours daily he worked three hours less means we have to subtract three from 10 but extended he is working for two more days so days will get increased by two how many total hours he worked in that month for that we have to enclose this both the expressions in a bracket and we have to multiply the answers okay now let's see the fourth situation a lady serves tiffin for seven adults and two children in each of ten houses as there are seven uh, adults and two children total number of uh, persons we have to find for that we have to add seven plus two and there are 10 houses on a holiday three houses cancel the tiffin so we have to subtract the houses by three uh, how many people were served on that day for that we have to put this both the expressions in a bracket and after that we have to find the answers and then we have to multiply the answers okay now let's find the fifth situation here this is the fifth a small bus driver charges rupees 10 per head for 7 passengers for 1 kilometer distance. Okay. He added 2 more passengers. So we have to add uh, 2 in 7 and reduced fare by rupees 3 per head. So we have to subtract the charges by 3. What is the driver's total collection as fare? For that also we have to put the brackets for both the expressions. And then we will get the answer. So these are the five situations which are matchable with this expression. Now uh, here there is the end of that try this expression. Now try this uh, questions. If you like my teaching then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell icon so that you will get the notification of the upcoming videos. Bye everyone.